First and foremost, this is not a how-to video. It's a story about the simple joy of taking something old and turning it into something new. It's one of my favorite things to do. It makes me feel purposeful and it makes me happy. What began as a hobby out of necessity over time became a craft driven by the quiet hums from my heart searching to express itself. What most consider old, outdated, and eager to dump in the trash, I saw as an opportunity to create something brand new, to bring a vision slowly to life. I've always thought that each piece of furniture that finds its way to me tells its own story, sharing with me what it wants to become. Sometimes this happens right away, and other times it takes a level of patience I was not born with. Yet, I've come to realize you can't rush a good thing. When it comes to creativity, you never can rush the process. The process is on its own timeline, not yours. The learning has been a process too. Sometimes people think that just because they have an idea, the skills to bring it to life should come just as easy. Sometimes that is the case. However, other times it involves a lot of trial and error, a learning curve of sorts, and a roller coaster of emotions. It takes time, dedication, practice, and an open heart to be in limbo for what can feel like a very long time. To be able to teeter on the edge of discomfort most of the time is a necessity. I have found myself frustrated many times over something I thought would be so easy. I've had to walk away time and time again only to return later after the dust has settled and I am ready to try again with a bit more grace. Grace for myself and grace for what may even be more important, grace for the process. This is why I love taking something old like a piece of furniture and making it new again. It's a rare mix of complicated and honest and just a touch of simplicity. It's part learned skill and part intuition. A willingness to listen to the unknown. Sometimes I think learning to listen to the intuitive part is the harder of the two. Learned skills have pretty clear metrics, but learning to trust your intuition, well, the metrics aren't as easy to see. They are deeply personal and often hard to explain to others. People often ask me how I got into transforming furniture and I always say it began out of necessity, but really, it began with my intuition and me finally trusting it enough to listen and put one foot in front of the next. I'm 
not really sure what I did before my creativity took hold and began guiding my life. I guess I was floundering, feeling lost at sea without even a glimpse of the far off glow of the lighthouse guiding me back home. That time in my life was hard. I struggled a lot with depression and wondered if I'd ever find that thing that felt most like me. Little did I know that even once I found it, it would continue to change and evolve over the years. That this evolution was just part of the creative process, not something trying to sabotage it. It's a hard lesson all creatives need to learn in their own time, but once you learn it, it takes just a bit of pressure off your creativity and lets it flow just a bit more gracefully. What do you think, bud? It's a lot better than it was. You can't really see. I'll show you when it's all set up again. I always say that my creativity has saved me over and over, and I believe that even more so now after months of laying on the couch. But just like everything else in my life, the more you try to force it to be what you want it to be, the less likely it will be. This is one of the greatest lessons I've had to learn in my lifetime. It's the day after my second immunotherapy and or solo immunotherapy and I feel pretty crappy if I'm honest. I just feel really nauseous and like weak and it, it feels just like I'm about to get the flu which is a bummer because I thought that I was gonna get a little bit of reprieve from this considering my first round I felt almost energized afterwards so hopefully this doesn't last long but I did have to take an anti-nausea pill and was pretty excited to be off all of that stuff and just feel very very tired and bummed I still have to go out and work because I'm so behind so I'm going to force myself to go out there for a while and just get things done just bummed out and raining feels like we just slipped back into the fall hopefully i'll have time to take a nap today I'm meeting some girlfriends for happy hour and i'm not canceling because i have backed out on so many plans i don't want to back out on anything else 